All right, for this one, I have got one large bowl. So I'm putting a whole bunch of things in here, but we're mixing it together. I also have a uh, loaf tin. I've put some parts and paper in the bottom of mine because I'm lazy and I don't like to have to scrub it from everything, but go ahead and spray it if you so choose. I've also got one small, medium size uh, bowl because this is what I'm going to be making the glaze in. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be adding like the ketchup, the mustard and all of that stuff too. Uh, we are going to stir together the breadcrumbs, paprika, garlic powder and salt. So let me go through that again. Breadcrumbs, we are taking a quarter cup. I use the Kroger brand gluten-free, but you can use oats. That would be fine as well. Panko crumbs, whatever you've got is good. Keep those breadcrumbs close to you because sometimes we'll need to add in more. We are also going to be adding in paprika. And then you can just kind of stir that together. Or I might also add in some Italian seasoning. You don't have to, but I'm going to. Um, we are then going to whisk the egg into a small bowl or small container. Okay, we are going to finally dice our onion. That's next for us. We want it fine because we're adding it into our meat mixture. Now the amount of onion, totally up to you. I have got half an onion here. I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot. So I might just do half, add it in and see how it goes. But I want it to be super finely diced. Add that to my breadcrumbs mixture because everything's actually going to go in there. A lot of things are going in there. Um, if you have any leftover of the grated carrot, you could totally sneak some more veggies in this way as well. Okay, I'm going to add in, I'm using ground turkey. But if you have ground beef, whatever you so chose as your ground protein. We're going to add that straight into the bowl as well with the breadcrumbs and the onion. And then finally, we're going to add in the um, diced pickles, about a quarter of a cup. I, side note, love to put some inside of the meat mixture. I'm also going to add a little bit of ketchup into my mixture because I love it. And then when I glaze it, I also like to glaze it with some pickles, right? So totally up to you. You can use none or whatever and then here I'll just make some room so you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to stir it all together I haven't forgotten about my egg I am going to add that in as well but I'm just going to make sure my ground turkey or ground beef whatever you're using it's kind of breaking up a little bit mixing all together making sure those breadcrumbs are included in that oh my gosh it smells heavenly already so here I'm going to add my egg and then continue to stir. All right, this is looking good. All right, all we do here is we're going to go ahead and dump it straight into our loaf tin. Right. So I've got mine, I'm going to show you here relatively flat in there. Now we're gonna add in half a cup of ketchup. Now, if you want it to be extra saucy or extra glaze, add more, okay? We're also here gonna add in, is it the same of mustard? No, one, one tablespoon, but that's very frugal in my opinion. I like a little more. All right. And then last but not least, we are going for one teaspoon of Worcestershire. And then that's where we're going to stir it all together. And we just want it to be all combined. And then if you want to add in some pickles here, which I always do, this is where you're going to add it in to that glaze. And I don't add a lot. I probably do like a tablespoon. 
but in the top there. And I'm gonna dump it over the top. If you wanna add the cheese on top, go right ahead. I've just got some shredded here. Like I said, I'm just gonna put it on top of his. So I've got that done. Delicious. <laughs>